state are murderers, accusing the government of culpability and calling for vengeance from the PKK. These residents of Diyarbakir vent their anger at the killing of one of their own. 25-year-old Murat was killed by gunfire after he demonstrated earlier this week. Many blame the Turkish security forces for abetting violence. They killed my brother. May God bring sadness upon them. A curse on the police. The police took my brother's life. May they be cursed. Murat's coffin is laid to rest in the area of the cemetery usually reserved for fighters from the PKK, the militant Kurdish party. The Kurds of Turkey blame the government for not doing enough to stop the jihadist assault on Kobani in Syria. Nearly 40 Kurds have died in the past week's violence. This vigil is in memory of a pair of 19-year-old friends killed during the protests. One of the victim's fathers lays the blame squarely on the Turkish authorities. The state supports the extremist Islamists by giving them weapons. The Turkish state think it can get rid of the Kurds, but they'll never defeat us. Is this what they think of us, the Kurds? They've destroyed this town. Helicopters keep watch from above, while on the ground armored personnel carriers patrolled the streets for much of the week. The security crackdown is aimed at putting a lid on the unrest. In response, the Kurdish population has changed tack. Their protests now are smaller and more mobile to avoid major confrontation. Here, as night falls, a raucous din rings out, echoing the Kurdish anger that's close to boiling over.